Well, boys, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks very much, Nat. Do you just want to introduce yourselves? What do you do in the band? What's your name? So we're traits. My name's Kieran. Um, this is Steve. I'm Steve Keys. Steve Keys. Come around. Ben. Drums. Adam. Bass. Mask us off. Oh, we already messed us off with the, with the <laughs> mics. Jeez. How long have you been together? Well, the, the project's been going on for like two years. Um, but the current lineup, we've been playing together for like maybe like six months now. Um, and it's going really well, I think, this Enjoying time. Enjoying it? Uh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's sounding really good. And we're going to release music um, with this lineup like in the next two or three months. Counting on presents lately. So me and Matty went to school together. Um, we met Adam on a night out. Um, and he was going to join the band about two or three years ago, and then he didn't. And then, So it's been a long time coming, lots of uh, chats in Concert Square being like, we'll join the band, we'll join the band. But then, yeah, now it's finally happened. And they've never sounded better. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, it's all um, for a reason. I met ba Ben's a funny story actually. Um so Ben me and Ben used to go to the same like uni accommodation. Okay. And one time we had live in or go to like to like party. live in. So like he was on like floor nine, I was on like floor seven. And um basically like him and his friends come to our party. We didn't I didn't know Ben at this time. And he robbed all the spoons. From the from the accommodation, like from my party, so I like kicked off. I go and knock on the door, and I go, "Why have you robbed all the spoons?" And he said, "I think it'd be hilarious when you woke wake up hungover, and uh, can't have a bowl of cereal," which I thought was quite nasty. That is actually brilliant. And then, uh, but then we start started speaking, and then because uh, I thought that was hilarious, I, I we became friends, and then he could play drums, and we were looking for a drummer. So, so that's that's some. Ben. Yeah. I don't even like using spoons. Yeah. <laughs> we were actually talking about this the other day about like. I have friends that used to go to house parties and steal the TV remote, but leave the TV. Yeah, so people would wake up the next day and be like, what the fuck is the TV remote? Oh. Or they would steal the bottom of kettles. So when someone went to like make a cup of tea, they wouldn't be able to boil a kettle. It's, it's but I, I feel like that's you've been so let off lightly. cleverly funny. Like, <laughs> what happened to you? You, you? you couldn't be annoyed. That's why I wasn't annoyed with Ben, to be honest. Cause yeah. it's well, it caught you in the band, so. Yeah. Um, who's, who's the biggest diva? Okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. The one, the one in bright green. <laughs> so is, is this, oh, this oh, wasn't my idea. The rules then, no. No, it wasn't my idea. I Are you collectively saying he's the biggest diva? Oh, yeah. 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 Who takes longest to get ready? Matty. Uh, if we're packing down equipment at the end, of, uh, he's still playing guitar, and we're like, "Come on, let's go." <laughs> Who's more into like the fashion and looking good on stage? Austin. It's hard. It's hard CDs. not being. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess me. But it, it, these boys are taking a. Taking inspiration from me. Uh, no. Nah. Well, that's a good thing. Bullocks. Bullocks. Transsetter. Well, you, couldn't, you couldn't dress well, and then you joined in your old band. <laughs> they taught you. That's what you Humbled, said. you couldn't dress well. <laughs> no, 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 this is. Says you sitting there in the green jumper. <laughs> this is what Steve said himself. We're just and nerds. Got, We're just nerds with yeah. who can play instruments. That's cool. And then I'm it sort of forces it. you to learn how to dress and stuff. <laughs> it's all part of the show, isn't it? Yeah. Like the performance, the yeah, costume definitely. aspect and whatever. Yeah, it's a bit like some people think, I guess it's a bit, it's a little bit cringy, isn't it? But at the same time, it is how you present yourself. Everyone says as well, it's only cringe until you're famous. So, <laughs> you know. It will always be cringe for us then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm me. 
Um, so who's the most stubborn in the band? Matthew. Matthew Campbell. I, I don't, I You're getting a hard time here, Matt. Yeah, I don't agree with this. Matthew, Matthew's never... Um, <laughs> Exhibit A. Yeah. Matthew can write a song and then we'll record it and then he'll hate it straight away and then that'll be it. Um, Are you just a perfectionist? He's a perfectionist. Uh, yeah, complete perfectionist. And you need someone like that in the group. Exactly. There you go. Yeah. I'm on your yeah, side, yeah. kid. I'm on your side. Yeah. Any other stories you just want to tell me? Who else you just want to out? <laughs> Who else are you going out? Ben. Who's, ben. who's yeah. least able to hold the reel? I think it's yeah. probably equal. <laughs> yeah, it's probably equal. I'd say we can all handle it fairly well. Who's more likely to I, I fall off a stage drunk? <laughs> I know, I think, be, I think you can always... Like make a bad decision on just in life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but Ben's the... Ben always you're looks the drunkest. Aren't you? You're mischievous. And yeah. You get a few drinks and you, you, you do mischievous things. Hmm. I always get drunk, guys. I think we always end up in the most <laughs> dangerous situations together. Ben will never, never go home and... Like on it, on, on like say, can we go home? Ben's one of them where he will be out until six in the morning. You don't seven know in the morning. Stops searching for spoons. Yeah, spoons <laughs> open. I did go to spoons after a night out once, and um, it was the Lime Street spoons at six in the morning. And we, I was with Matty actually. We were, we were there, and uh, we walked in, and she was like, "Oh, you can't, you can't be in here. There's people catching trains." And I just turned around, I was like, "How dare you?" It, you know, she was like, "You don't look, mm. you don't look very nice." And I was like, "How dare you? We got a train in half an hour." And then did she let us have a. <laughs> then we had a pint and a breakfast and a very bad hangover. A sleep and a very bad hangover. He had a hangover. Hangovers past twenty fives are the worst yeah. thing that can happen to you. I used to have I used to have a friend who I used to work with 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 hangovers. <laughs> he didn't believe he got them, but he was clearly hungover. He just used to think he was tired. He used to really do my do my head. My dad used to do this thing where he would be like, "I'm not hungover. I'm not hungover yeah, at but all." They are. And he'd go like out of his way to clean the house, get up and do things, and you could see the pain in his face and in his eyes. He'd be like sweat and everything, being like, "Anyone want anything from the shop?" <laughs> yeah, yeah if, like, if anyone's killing him, if anyone's listening, you are hungover. If you're strolling there on TikTok and you're in bed and you you can't get up because you've had a drink the night before, you're hungover. If you're in denial, go to sleep. You've got work. Yeah. <laughs> What's been your favorite gig that you have done together so far? We played. I mean, together it's probably been Zanzibar. We played. That was good. Uh, but when the band in the first year of the, of the bands in this project, we played Paul McCartney's Childhood Home. Very cool. Um the National Trust um kind of put out a thing and was like, Does any local bands wanna play Love Me Do for That's sixty years? So cool. And we we got there and we were like there was another artist and it was us and then we were upstairs in Paul McCartney's like bedroom we grew up wow. in. And then we had the other band and they were like we were like, Oh my god, they're really good. Uh, and then and then we went down and we done our little rendition and yeah it seems seems people really like the rendition Aww. it done quite well on Instagram and TikTok. Um, that's freaking pelter. That's probably the. It was really weird just like spending all day lying down in Paul McCartney's bed because it was a long day. And that's just like, like what, am I, what am I doing? That's mad. That's like a dream. Yeah, well, it that's really was it. cool. And then we had a uh, we had a burrito with Paul McCartney's brother who was taught telling us about John Lennon. Shout out Mike McCartney. Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, it was yeah. very strange. Fell into him as John, like it was his best mate. All that, I'm just kind of sitting there, like. I wish <laughs> I, I wish I could relate. Yeah. yeah. The closest I've ever been to that kind of fame. I remember talking to a bar manager, and he had, you know, Chico from the X Factor. He knew Chico, <laughs> and he was like, "Oh, you know my brother Chico." And then he went to ring him, and it was like Chico knew on his phone. I was like, <laughs> "I'm in the presence of fame, guys." <laughs> yeah. Chico knew. Played with Miles Kane once. No you way. Know, yeah, and we played a little festival. You have had some really great highlights as a band. Yeah, it was, it was good. Miles Kane's cool. Um, I asked him for a picture, and then he's just like, "Yeah," and that was it. But I was I was a bit upset he didn't ask about you know about the band. About the band. Yeah. He's maybe got other things to do. Yeah. You know. So then, so then now now we've we've got to make it. To <laughs> yeah. Now we've got now he's on Modern Sky. There's a chance we could play with him again, and um, and I could meet him and finally. Have maybe a conversation he with maybe him. he might ask you for a pick. Maybe, maybe. You never know. The goal, <laughs> it's the goal. <laughs> What's the you've played some pretty cool um gigs, Steve? 
Yeah, what's been the highlights of like? You played some crazy been? gigs. Do you want to tell them what other band you're in? <laughs> <laughs> you got another band? <laughs> Stevens and a uh, Simon and Garth, one of the best Simon and Garfunkel tributes in the world. The best way. He plays bass for them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you played, you played like Australia. He's toured the world with it. It's really, no way. really cool. Give what's him that mic. Let's play some more. No, 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 no. Go on. Uh, best, uh, uh, probably that Edinburgh Festival Theatre was pretty cool. Oh. Was like two and a half thousand people. That was the first gig I ever played at them. That's amazing. Four-tier theatre. People like, everywhere. It was pretty cool. That's incredible. Yeah. Is, that the, is that the biggest venue you've played? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot of people as well. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty crazy. Take some balls. Pretty surreal. Yeah. I always deep. I always stand there and I'm thinking like, what, what is it that I'm actually doing here? I've got, I've got this piece of wood in my hand and these four metal things on it and we've all learned how to play together in, in harmony yeah. and for some reason me hitting this string sounds good with the string player over there strumming their string and that do you ever get like intrusive thoughts on stage where you're like oh, yeah. i could literally just yeah. mess this up right now if i wanted to I, yeah. I could say bad things down the mic but i'm choosing not to do you know i usually I mean? give in to them and get in trouble <laughs> um well i try not to but um listen i'm gonna wrap it up by asking you what is your favorite song that you've written so far or released so far probably back to yesterday um i really like how the keys and the guitar bounce off each other and it was one of them which was written quite quick i don't know if you've ever written a song Nath, where you just write it in half it an hour in like 20 minutes. and they're always just the yeah. best songs and you're like why can't i do that tomorrow and then it just doesn't happen it doesn't months. happen yeah it, it's like it's special, isn't it? Yeah. That's why you need to take the inspiration when it comes. Yeah. We don't. We haven't decided on a single yet. Okay, we'll plug whatever it is. You <laughs> we can plug, plug the band. Listen yeah, to us, Traits. On. We're one of the best bands in Liverpool of all time, and I think you should listen to us because who else are you listening to? Which is better than us? It's clearly, Matt Kelly, obviously. Yeah, maybe Matt Kelly. <laughs> Apart from Matt Kelly. Yeah, I like you. Um, yeah, please listen to us. Um, give them a follow. Give them. A give them a follow on Instagram. I don't know. What Anything else? Usually, I, usually. Any I big gigs coming up? No. <laughs> Good chat. <laughs> Good chat, guys. Good chat. We'll wrap it up there. Thanks so much for Thank coming. Thank you very in. much. <laughs> Thank you very much, Nat. Good to see you, boys.